What's up guys, I'm the Nearsighted Gamer and I wanted to do a really quick video to give you an impression of one of the most anticipated games of 2016 that I recently got through and played, Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Now, Uncharted 4 is uh, obviously the fourth installment in Naughty Dog's Uncharted series and um, though I've played every game in the series I, I'm not that big of an Uncharted fan. I mean, the storytelling is great. It's it's kind of like a it's a I don't know. It's a really it's a rough it's a confusing relationship between me and Uncharted. On one hand, I love the story storytelling. They they do really good. You really feel like you're connected to the characters. You want to know what's going to happen and everything. But I'm not that big a fan of the gameplay. The, the shooting, third person shooting, uh, I play third person shooters more than I play first person shooters, so it being a third person shooter is definitely an advantage, but the climbing and the puzzles, just, I mean, they, they always tend to just seem to get in the way of this great story that they're always telling in each of their games, and Uncharted 4 isn't any different. Um, with you know it being the PS4, there's a definite graphical upgrade. It looks really good, so therefore seeing these characters interact like they do, and everything come together is awesome. But the gameplay still seems to be a held back. Wait, I'm, by the way, I'm not saying that the gameplay isn't good. You know, the climbing and the shooting, it's all good. But it's just it seems to slow down the game for me. It's one of those games, and I know a lot of you probably had these games before. It's one of those games that, um, when you're not playing it, you're you're not really that into it and invested. But whenever you're in, when you are playing it, like you are, you feel it's great and you're loving it. That's how I feel about Uncharted. And I actually, like all the other ones, I had to force myself to play it just because you know I didn't want to be, I didn't want the story spoiled for me. I wanted to experience it for myself. So I would have to force myself to play it. Uh, like whenever I beat, uh, finally beat the game, I, I marathoned it for the whole day and just went straight through and finally beat it. And I was, I was satisfied with the ending and everything, but I had to force myself to play it. And I, I don't know why it's always been like that with me in, in Uncharted games. Um, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but I will say that, like uh, I heard a lot of people talking about, they did end the game with the option for future DLC and even another sequel to the game as well. They did a very good job on that. Uh, I liked, I liked how they did that. That was really cool. Uh, the sound in the game is top notch, of course. The explosions, the gunfire, everything is great. I mean, you you really feel like you're there if you're wearing headphones. I mean, it really stands out. But I'm just not that big of an Uncharted fan. As oh, I'm not as big of an Uncharted fan as most people are. I know the series is good, and I don't take anything away from them for what they've done in the series. And I love all the games. Um. But I just, I'm not, I wouldn't, there's no way I would have pre-ordered it. And I'm not uh, one of those die-hard uh, Uncharted fans like a lot of people are. But I do appreciate it for a good game. And I did like it. I enjoyed my time with it. I, I just had to force myself to go through it and push through and make it to the end. So... This is just a really quick video to let you know my impressions and thoughts on Uncharted 4. I'm the Nearsighted Gamer. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Nearsighted Gamer. I'm on Twitter. Follow me there. Facebook, I mean not Facebook. Twitter.com slash Nearsighted Gamer, G-A-M-R. Um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. And as always, be excellent to each other.